Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and today I'm going to talk about one cut of the dead, and I'm pretty sure I got that right this time. This is like the fourth time I'm re-recording the intro, but I found this streaming on Amazon Prime via the Shutter app as it is a Shutter exclusive film. The premise of this movie is that it's just one long take of a zombie movie, and the film starts out with a crew and they're giving direction on how to act and how to react to things. And you see the director and everything. So essentially the director brings his film crew and actors into a location and then releases this horrible curse that brings the actual dead back to life to make his film better. What could go wrong? Of course. So we get this beautifully shot, beautifully just everything's great. It's so lush and the visuals are great. The effects are really good. And then it ends. And then it goes to another subplot. Not really a subplot, but it goes to the actual director trying to put the first movie together because they're going to do like a made for TV kind of thing, but it's all live. It's all one shot, one cut, and there's dead people actors. They're zombies. And uh, it's really interesting to see the progression of how things got to be in the first one that you watched. And I thought it was very interesting that they did it this way rather than have, you know, the whole background and, oh, we're doing this for TV and this is how we got this actor and this is why they're kind of acting like this in the one that you saw prior. Doing it in this order, I thought, was way more interesting than, you know, everyone's doing a movie and then this is the movie, but then this is another thing. So I thought that was really cool. At the end of the kind of in production section, they have a little part towards the credits. I think the credits might be rolling. I don't quite remember of the people that made the movie, like the actual people that made the movie and what they're doing. So it was really cool to see all three angles of this. I, I haven't seen a movie like that before. What did I like? As I said, very interesting to put it in this way. I thought it was so cool. I thought initially from, you know, reading about the movie, just, oh, it's coming out. It's, it's one cut of the dead. I thought that the first part was all you were going to get. And I was kind of confused and I paused it and I'm like, wait a minute, there's, there's like a lot left in this movie. So pleasantly surprised, very happy. I'm glad I didn't watch other reviews or spoilers, you know, that would have me be expecting those things. And I hope this doesn't spoil it for anyone, but if you pause it and you're like, wait a minute, it's not going to spoil it, you know, because you know that there's more coming. Um, I really liked the effects. I really, really liked the actors in it. I thought they did a great job. I thought that their reactions to things were so honest and so pure and just, it wasn't an over the top reaction to me. It was like, yeah, that's, that's what you would do. Um, I liked the, the story with the director's wife and why she's not an actress anymore because she gets a little too into things, which I can identify with, especially when playing games. I get way too intense. No one ever wants to play with me ever again because you just get so into it. So, yeah, another facet of my horrible character flaws. But I thought, uh, like I said, the concept is is really good. I thought that the camera work was really good. I loved the way they explained some parts of the camera work, like maybe people fall, like that's a very real thing that happens. And they really, you know, put it in there well and recovered from it. Well, I thought, uh, what did I dislike about the movie? Um, I think that in the part, the middle part where it's, you know, showing the background of things and how they're, you know, doing the film and everything, even though it is the one cut, I felt like it took a whole lot longer. And sometimes there were pacing issues that I was kind of like, uh, I could do without that. Um, I know that there was this infatuation that the director's daughter had with the lead actor. And I didn't really need all of that. You could just allude to the fact that he's kind of like a nasty person and, it's that stereotypical actor thing that you're like, oh, they're just a pompous asshole and they're going to be mean to the director and the director is going to take it. We didn't need all that build up for me in particular. I, I could have done without it, but it is what it is. 
I think I will rate this probably a three out of five. I had a really good time watching it. I really hoped that the groom would have stayed awake to watch it with me, but alas, he did not. He's a very tired boy, but I, I think I could probably get him to watch it with me. He'd probably enjoy it. He'd find it funny. But if you are interested in watching it, there is a trailer out. Um, if you have Shudder, it is on there. It's probably going to be released other places after a little bit, I would think. But have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Please let me know down below. I'd love to hear them. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. Um, leave a comment. Hit the like button if you liked the video. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator, and my solo as well as reviews with the groom are available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!